wonder why they're not picking up. Hey, it's me. Are you in that meeting again? Oh, it's fine. I'll be quick. I was thinking, you know when they constantly say like an animal's extinct? But like, how do we know that they are? I mean, have you looked absolutely everywhere? Because you know, it could be in my backyard and I don't see anybody here trying to find it. pop some bubbly or just you know ginger ale today I just needed it <sighs> am I the only person that just like loves ginger ale I've told the story about when this first became a thing for me and it is kind of ridiculous but for me it's also sort of iconic um, basically my best friend and I in high school we were um, we had the house to ourselves for like a whole week or a weekend. I don't remember, we were 16. And <laughs> all we had at her house were ginger ale and banana nut muffins, or yeah, I think it was muffins. That's where my love for ginger ale was born. And in case you're wondering, what did we do the whole week? Well, we were in chat rooms on the AOL. Just what a time to be alive in the 90s, you know, where you could just do whatever, make mistakes, and there's absolutely no record of it anywhere, you know? We're gonna do a Dollar Tree haul. I'm excited because in a previous Dollar Tree haul, I asked you guys if you had been seeing Loki sleeping, so sorry if you hear that. Um, if you guys had been seeing those handmade cards from Halloween, I ended up going to a completely different Dollar Tree and I found them, so I'm excited. They're in this haul. You know I have not pre-sorted through this. Um, so I'm just gonna grab the first bag closest to me already. I actually see some of the regular cards So I'm just gonna like flip through these some of these I actually don't think that I have shared with you guys I think this one though I have but I only bought one copy of this and it ended up in one of my mystery kits So I wanted to go ahead and get another one for me. So pretty go check these out at Dollar Tree They're just so pretty in person this one I think is my very first time hauling it. So, so cute. I love the purple and black and the font is really cute too. So I love that there's a spooky house. I just love the whole like Halloween phrase there. I also got a fall card or I guess, yeah, like autumn and Thanksgiving. So they're gonna be in the envelopes that are this color. That's kind of how you know what themes certain things are at Dollar Tree because their envelopes is just like a dead giveaway. Um, so here's this one. I thought it was very pretty. Again, I don't know if you can kind of see, I think you can see the glitter, but it looks even more beautiful in person. I did get this to craft with and I do like what it says right here, but as you can see, it would be very easy for me to like cover up. So I love that they kept all the words contained to this one section. They didn't put it over the image. You know, like this would be, this would be kind of impossible-ish to kind of go around. This makes it a lot easier. So here's what the inside looks like. So I'm gonna craft with that. For giggles, I had to get this card. And for those of you that know or don't know, I love the Dollar Tree cards, but it was this one in particular that really like shifted my focus and I started looking at them more from a crafting perspective rather than like a mailer card kind of if you will wishing you a happy Halloween also I want to say I was gonna do like mail you guys Halloween cards I did it last year I know you guys loved it but I just ended up running out of time with my Etsy stuff I'm gonna attempt to do it for Christmas so be on the lookout for that um yeah so this one is the card that started it all out of all the ones that I haul. This is the one that I would highly recommend that you pick up for yourself. Um, this one's also new. I feel like this is the first time I've put it in front of you guys. So cute, love it. Has a lot of really pretty texture on it, like with all the black parts and the, the pumpkins. There's just like this really glossy embossing to it and I love like just the house just continues 
it's giving me haunted mansion which has been like one of my go-to's this year and then this one just because for whatever reason i feel like sometimes it's a hit and miss it's either sold out or they'll like restock it but i had to get it again i just really like the frappuccinos and the the sweets of it all i think it's so cute but on thursday i am going to be crafting in my uh october halloween junk journal live on youtube so just throwing that out there random i got some sponges i just needed to get some i got these to specifically clean loki's bowls with and that way i just kind of like know they look different from my other ones and then i picked up some of my envelopes i get pretty i, I yeah i mean i do get some like envelope fun ones from like tuesday morning and hobby lobby but my standard envelopes like this i get them at dollar tree you get 80 in here these are fabulous to craft with and do all that stuff i picked up more of these flash cards also some of my favorite i just love like winnie the pooh i think it's so cute reminds me of micah's first halloween costume when she was a baby um i do craft with these and i actually plan on doing like a disney themed journal next year so these will be the, the cards that i'll pull out and i'll actually use the image but right now sometimes i do cover them up but they are so precious this was micah's halloween costume she was the pot of honey i have it somewhere it is so adorable i'm gonna try to find it and share with you guys soon um as i've been working on my office which if you just love my decorating videos and you love to just kind of follow what I'm doing in my home, I am getting closer and closer to finishing the office. So I realized I need more of my Dollar Tree books. I actually use them to decorate with. This is a really good hack and it's cheap too because they're like $1.25 obviously. So if you don't know, I basically remove the cover and then I can also put these away if I wanted to, to like maybe if I wanted to kind of like donate the books again they'll have the cover or i can craft with them but i get them for the color of the actual book and then i style them this way it's just you'll see when i get to my office so on this trip i was looking for books that had white so you can just kind of like see through there um so um i plan on putting these in my if you guys remember my library the last house i had that one shelving unit piece with the faux fireplace these books are going to go there and then look more books for that this is actually like several different dollar tree trips in this video but again i went with all white for this one so again we're getting closer all right so i'm going to grab this bag right here and this is pretty random but i found these popcorn bags under the oddest label in Dollar Tree. So, and I always shop by looking at labels because it's just, if you shop at Dollar Tree all the time, you probably do the same thing. But this is the essentials line. That just really surprised me. And it has a summer themed, as you can see, I mean, it says summertime. This is the first time I'm seeing them. So I really wish I would have found these during summertime but that's fine i'm gonna tuck these away and i'm just gonna craft with them i mean the paper bag thing you can create so many things you gotta go check out like for example lyric lover crafts amber shows the coolest little things you can make with paper bags so go check her out just so you can kind of get like an idea but you get eight in here so i got those i picked up more of the window clings but these are new or meaning like i haven't hauled them yet they're so cute. And if you missed my last YouTube live, I created boo bags from Dollar Tree. So go check that out. I'll link it down below. But I use window clings to, to do crafts with. So I thought these were really cute. I love all the Halloween people. Okay, then I found some ribbons. So I picked up these. I'm kind of just like gearing up for Christmas now. So you're going to start to see a transition of things from like fall Halloween to Christmas for me now and especially when you're just on social media you have to do things ahead of time so it just gives you guys time to like get items and be prepared yourselves 
So I got these beautiful ribbons. I thought they were so cute. And I love the gingham look to them because they go so well with like my gingerbread theme that I have for Christmas. So I got those. And then I found these, they're so cute. These little like light up decor boxes. I only found these two, but I know how Dollar Tree works. I know there's more to this collection, but they do light up. Like, what? Tear tray. Or just anywhere. But whenever I do see small things, I always say tear tray because I feel like um, it's just, you know, they're just so good for that. I don't know. Um, I also picked up some more pony beads. I went with the gold and the silver. Uh, what's odd is that they're, they both have the same amount. They're supposed to have 150, but it just looks different. Maybe because this bag is vertical and this one's more horizontal. But love pony beads. These are just great to create tassels and charms for your books. And then I picked up these index cards. What is new here is that it's on a ring. So that is really cool from Jot if my camera would. There we go. Camera's struggling to focus. So this is really interesting because they've already punched the hole out for you and included the ring, um, but you only get 50 flashcards in this. So whereas when you just buy like the thick pack, there's over like two, 300 in that. But this was new to me that they added the little ring. I thought that was really cool. I might use this for that writing prompt project I've been talking about. So there's that. And then I picked up some magnets. They have a bunch to choose from. I only went with this one pack. Um, what drew me to this one was the tea kettle and the coffee with the steam coming out of it. I thought it was really cute. Now, what's interesting is, is that even if I wanted to, I can't actually put anything on my fridge. It's not magnetic in the front for some reason, but it is on the side, but you can't see the side because it's literally in a whole casing. So I can't use the magnet for that, but I'm thinking of maybe trying to find a way to use these in a junk journal. So we'll see. I picked up these gorgeous stickers. These kind of give me like a steampunk vibe, which you makes me feel so inspired to do a steampunk junk journal but like that's one probably one of the later 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 because i have so many other ones that i want to do right now um and then i found this bead tray so this is brand new put this on your shopping list if like you know you craft and stuff but a bead tray what now I don't even know, honestly, what the numbers are for. So please comment and educate me and let me know how this works because I would love to know. Like what, because when I look at this, I just see a roulette table and boy, do I have stories from Vegas and roulette. Like I got stories. So comment, do I need to do a story time about this on my vlog channel? But it's just, you can see there's little like pockets for beads to go into and then it's like this little lazy river that goes around with these numbers what does it mean how does this work let me know and then you can see it's crafted square and then i found them i'm so excited uh so these are the handmade cards as you can see they're very different from these and they're also kind of, di they're displayed in different sections. They do not usually keep these next to those. And these just have a little something extra. They're, they have pop-ups and all kinds of little things. This one is a mason jar. Like the tag is real. It's not like printed on the card. It's like an additional little layer and it's so cute. And if you always flip the back around, the image in the back matches something about the front. So like this one's the eyeball. This one, I don't know why, has nothing on here. But, oh, I just realized that these are actually Dollar Tree. Whereas these are Hallmark. So the voila is the Dollar Tree label. Here is this one with a tombstone. Wow. 
love that and then probably my personal favorite it's got the stars it has a candy corn twist to it like we see it here but there's the black i love this i wish candy corn was actually like this this look to it i don't i don't know how to describe it but i am obsessed with this card i should have got two but i only got one but if i see it again i'll get it again and then the back has the stars the little spooky house love that there's just all kinds of things happening in the window and then speaking of windows it's just the cutest details here's another good one oh my gosh i live i live for this this is so adorable these are also just going to be cute for your planners like let's say you're not really into junk journals but you're into planners let's say you have like the erin condren or you have the happy planner you can do your punch out on the side and just insert into the flap and then you have more room to write in so you could do that too here's this one this is the last one they had a couple of other ones i didn't grab them but at least i found them because i threatened to move over this we're, we're okay now all right then i'm gonna go in for this bag right here i found these little like felt trick-or-treat bags and they are so darling if you're actually going to use these for trick-or-treat i would say for the little the little toddlers are the ones just starting to walk because there's only one handle and i mean it's a pretty good size though for the little kids so we get the little mummy and then we get the black cat oh my god and then we get i don't even honestly know which one's the cutest i would normally go for like the black cat but something about this pumpkin, maybe it's the green handle. It's it's everything. It's so cute. I'm thinking about filling these up. I don't know which which two I'm going to pick, but I'm going to pick two of these. I'm going to fill them up and send them in a care package to my niece and nephew for Halloween. So, you guys vote. Which one should my nephew get and which one should my niece get? I don't know. You guys let me know. So I thought those were really adorable. Um, I also picked up more of these chalkboard ornaments, but these are in the shape of a turkey. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. And let me tell you, because I haul so often, so sometimes I'll see, you know, some things here and some things there, so they're not all compiled into one video, but they have so many of these in like an acorn, leaves, pumpkins, squirrels. They have a bunch of these chalk tags for fall and here's that label it's crafter square but it's orange so this is going to be your fall label when it's purple it's your halloween label when it's blue it's just their everyday no holiday related color so there's that and then uh, oh and a mushroom see there's that fall label so super cute and you want to paint, and the, again, the big reason why labels matter is because if you're thinking, oh, I'll go get those, you know, next month, when it's seasonal, it could be gone. So, there's that. All right, which bag? I'm going to put this bag down and grab this one. I picked up some of the mesh tubing, the green and the red, for Christmas. Ever since I did the boo bags and I used the mesh tubes for Halloween, I thought these would be really cute again for Christmas. Then I picked up these drawstring bags and I saw someone like do a pack with me kind of video on TikTok and they used a drawstring bag to put their shoes in. So usually the hack that I've always done is I get shower caps from Dollar Tree and you just wrap the shower cap around the bottom of your shoes. That way they're not getting anything else dirty in your luggage. But then I saw this hack and I was like, Dollar Tree has the drawstring bags. And I actually like that a lot more because then if like the shoes kind of fly around, they're still contained in a bag. So I just got one for now, but I'm gonna tuck this away for traveling. And then this is just random. I got it because it just spoke to like my, my inner child, my childhood of Tom and Jerry. And I thought it was 
super cute um the only thing about this is that they're like getting along so i'm not buying it but here we are so there's that i got more of my favorite tape here's that crafter square label in blue so blue you're good blue should be available throughout the year and then for just oops i picked up these labels and you can clearly see that i picked up green and red there's a bunch of these i love them for journaling for planners i just use them all the time you don't have to just like use them to label things so i got these for christmas and then what is this oh i forgot that i got this glassware but these little pumpkins from dollar tree have gone viral every single year and as they should because they're probably the best thing that's at dollar tree for a dollar 25 for halloween so i got two more of them um and i just i i want to display them i think in my kitchen i just don't know if i want to actually put candles in them or not or if i want to fill them with candy also I have to show you guys my sweatshirt of the day halloween town and chill this is in my merch shop i can't this came out in my shop last year or the year before and it's still my top favorite this one and the pink one that i just released with the scream you hang up no you hang up my top my top two favorites and also i just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who ordered from my etsy shop who ordered my apparel um who ordered my fall kits my mystery kits thank you so much for all your love and support with that i had a blast putting your kits together so i hope you guys loved them they're unfortunately with the kits they're done now because um, I'm having to prep for Christmas, but all my Halloween merch and all that is still available. Um, but yeah, so stay tuned for my Christmas kits. They are by far going to be my favorite kits of the entire year, and I can't wait to reveal them and share them with you guys. So yeah, and if you want to craft with me and junk journal with me, that's going to happen on Thursday, like I said, live. I'm probably going to go live about 3 p.m. Standard East central standard i was gonna central i was gonna say eastern but central standard 3 p.m y'all 3 p.m where's this have alcohol in it 